Hey everybody, this is Chris from CSS Tricks, video screencast number 90, where I'm going to uh, uh, be, I'm going to use TextMate and just like share some stuff about TextMate. Maybe you're a super TextMate power user. It's a code editor on the Mac. So it look, has this purple icon, and this is a text mate window. Uh, sorry for all the PC users stopping now. There's no text mate for your platform. So all these ticks, the tips are kind of specific to how text mate uh, functions. So there probably won't be much good in here for PC users. So TextMate uh, has a little controversy around. It hasn't been updated in a long time, but you know what? I'm not sure I even really care. It's a really good text editor, and there's not a ton I feel like it's missing. I was talking to this with somebody the other day, and they did point out a few things that it would be nice um, if this did, and it didn't. I was like, yeah, yeah, I can see that, but really for my day-to-day -day needs, there's not a whole lot I'm like calling out for that TextMate uh, uh, can't do already. Anyway, so um, the first thing you'll notice is look at this. Uh, when you open up a TextMate and uh, file like this. There's nothing in it, of course. Uh, this isn't a rich text editor. It's a code editor, so you can't like make a word bold or anything, so no confusion about that. Uh, it's untitled. It has line numbers here on the left. That's an option uh, in the gutter for showing line numbers, if you like that or not. Uh, in the line numbers area, you can like... Um, fold stuff. So notice that there, I don't have that folding option, and there's no syntax highlighting going on right here either. That's because TextMate doesn't know what type of file this is. You're looking at this being like, okay, he's writing HTML code, but the, uh, the what type of file this is, it's just saying plain text. I can force it uh, to any different type of language right here. If I just select HTML, it'll go into HTML mode. That's fine. Um, if, I if I didn't do that, I could create a new file and I could just save it as, I'll call it, you know, index.html or something on the desktop, and then it'll automatically go to HTML mode because it saw my file extension, knew what kind of file it was and just made it that way. The next thing you'll probably notice is that it's black, you know, a lot of the default installation of TextMate is, is white. Uh, white background, that is. So here's div, and that's the, the coloring or whatever. Um, I really like this. Let's see if I can open a, a file like. Uh, I really like how that looks. It's just a nice theme. It is built in with TextMate. So if you just go under Preferences and Fonts and Colors, Twilight is one of them. I mean, there's a bunch of them. Find the one that you like, whatever. I don't really care. I just happen to think that Twilight is a particularly nice one. So know that you can change that. I think these themes are really well done. Uh, and just, you know, whatever. It's just, I came around on Twilight and it's like changing my life. That's how, how like nerdy we are. Like code highlighting is that big of a deal. But Man, this one's been really nice. What I wasn't super happy with was when you find stuff, it was pretty hard to, to it's like highlight stuff in this like really light gray. I think it was this one. You can like, uh, you can change any of this, you know, it's not set in stone. So, uh, you know, you can just roll in here and like pick some crazy other color instead. Oh, uh, wow. I actually changed it. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, okay, so that's just how it looks. You know, that's not very interesting. I'm not very hot of tips so far here, but I wanted to cover a little usage type of stuff. So let's let's say I do want to make a div, you know, and then I'm going to tab it in and make an unordered list within the div and make a list item, and in there there's a href or something like that. This is already like... Um, not very efficient, but anyway, here's a nice little tick. I'm just about to close my first tab right here. I can hit uh, Option Command Period, and it just knows that an A is the most recent tag that needs to be closed, and it will insert that closing tag for me. Now there's another one. The list tag needs to be closed. Command Option Period, and it'll do it. Command Option Period, and it'll do it. Command Option Period. Do it again. It's gonna. It's going to make a little noise like, uh, there's no open tags, dude. So that command option period will close the most recent open tag. I think that's pretty neat. Now, let's say I want to make a bunch of more additional ones of these. I can just hit copy and paste, whatever. That's cool. Um, 
another thing that it can do before I even wrote the first one, I could make some room for it and I can hold the option key down and drag and either see there's a thin little line right there that selects text. You can literally select text vertically in TextMate and also type that way. So check that out. You can even do command option period and it will insert those closing tags all the way down even with the vertical highlighting. So pretty cool. You can delete in that same way. Like if I'm like, oh, that I shouldn't have been there. I'll just grab them all and delete it, you know? So pretty neat. That's vertical text selection. Now TextMate has all these bundles too, right? You like look through this like, gosh, what all is all this crazy stuff? Um, it comes with a bunch of bundles that like, I don't know, they for like, helping you out with that language and the cool thing is it's extensible so people can write their own bundles for it and there's a bunch of cool ones I thought I would introduce you to at least a few of them um, uh, one little quick thing that I noticed here you notice how what's going on with this uh, how this is spaced out basically this is one tab inwards, but I can go ahead and select here, and it's two actually spaces. I'm just trying to get the whole world on board with this. I have a number of people on board. I, I got on board somebody else's bandwagon, and I'm just trying to roll with it, that we should all be using spaces as tabs, and that level should be two. I mean, just, just so we have some standard of a space leveling is two. Right down here where you can select the language, you can select the tab level too. So you can select what size you want the tab to be, and then if you want them to be soft or not. What a soft tab is, is it uses a space instead of a tab character. So these are literally spaces instead of tabs. If I hit tab, it's going to put two spaces. I hit tab, it's going to put two spaces. Hit tab, it's going to put two spaces every time, two spaces. <clears throat> and what that means is that if I were to like copy and paste this code and like put it in a article in WordPress or something, there's going to be spaces there and it's going to be more consistent. If I send this code to you guys, you can open it up in whatever text editor you want to and it's going to be spaces in there, not tabs. So the code is going to look consistently just like how I'm looking at it because spaces don't have any, aren't variable uh, like they can be and other things, uh, in other code editors, you know, you could have your tab set to seven spaces or, or whatever, but they won't be spaces. They'll be literally tabs. And, the, and, and, and if you do it this way, you won't ever have that problem of some of them are spaces and some of them are tabs like can happen if you use tabs. You know, if, if your code is like, looks great to you, but it looks great because even though you're using tabs, but half of them are spaces and stuff, you send that code to somebody else and it's going to be a big mess in their editor. So soft tabs, level two, code will be beautiful for everyone for life it's going to be awesome oh okay speaking of indenting though let's say i like screwed this up and these were like this was like in here or something and this one was too you can select multiple lines of of code and then hit command and then the brackets and move them all in and out like that uh, so you can fix indenting. You know, if somebody's code is all screwed up, you get it because they didn't use soft tabs and it's a big disaster. Sometimes I'll just select all and just move it all inwards. Then, you know, like this needs to come in a little bit. This needs to come in a little bit. And you can fix code up pretty fast that way. There's some bundles for like, for like, um, uh, beautifying code. Um, and that's, that's nice. Um, it kind of automatically tries to read your code and do that stuff. Yeah, it, sometimes they do a great job, sometimes they don't. It's very language-specific. Uh, I have a PHP one that does a pretty good job. I'm not going to even show you guys that because I think that's outside the bounds a little bit here. So bundles, though, that's this cool thing. Here's a great bundle. I have it up in my browser right now for minimal design, uh, the TextMate HTML bundle. He's, this guy, oh, I feel embarrassed now that I don't know his name. I have to immediately... I think we're going to find out because we're going to go to his GitHub repository anyway. So this is the link I'll send you. I'll send you to his site. And then we're going to say, you know, if you want to try this out, you should, if you're on GitHub, you should try this. So Jan is his name. There's his picture. Thanks, Jan, for your great bundle. Uh, these are bundles. They're hosted on GitHub. I'll click on to the HTML bundle. And if you have Git, which you should have installed, I hope to do a screencast on it soon. I'm not a master, but I'm really getting the hang of it. I'm like 
forking stuff and committing stuff and having my own repositories. I'm doing a good job. Anyway, he says, if you use Git, which you should, uh, bust open terminal here, paste in that, which will get you to your text mate um, where bundles are supposed to go in your text mate, and then just paste this in here, which is going to clone this thing from GitHub, and it's going to say All right, it already exists there because I already did it. But if not, it would like basically just download it quick. Uh, and then once that's downloaded, you can go into TextMate, go under Bundles and Bundle Editor and say Reload Bundles, which will go look at that directory again and load up this bundle. And what it does is it has a whole bunch of little like commands, a little bit like Text Expander. You ever use Text Expander? It's pretty cool. I, I have ones for like dash CCS will like put my name and, and uh, uh, URL there so I can end emails really quickly. I got a whole bunch of them, but that's just one of them. Um, it's a little bit like that in TextMate. You can obviously use Text Expander in here too, if you have a, if you're a Text Expander fan and like to work that way. But these bundles do the same thing. Check it out. UL tab got a UL in there. LI tab got it. Uh, a tab. Oops, why didn't it like A tab? There we go. Oh, I want to. Which one of these do I want? Well, they're they're all you know. There's a mail to is the bottom one, or link short, or full link, whatever. You can you can use your mouse, but that kind of defeats the purpose. I'll just hit the number two, and it'll go there, and I'll be like, erp and whatever, and be able to put stuff in there. I could do it again. A tab. Now what's uh what's word or what's yeah word puts a www there, and it highlights www. So if it does have a www in the URL, just hit right and type it. And if it didn't, that would have already been selected, and you could just type like CSSTricks.com and it'll go away. Just really well thought out kind of tab triggered stuff here. Some of them have multiple options, like you saw that A did. It has all these different options. You know, if I want a mail to link, it's got me covered. You know, um, if I want a uh, uh, a div, I can hit tab. There's some options. Do I want to have an ID or a class, an ID plus a comment? Look at how nice it is if I do ID plus comment. I can type, oh, I want my page wrap. And it, <laughs> and it while you're typing the ID, it puts a closing comment there and it matches that ID. So pretty cool. Hit tab and I'm right in there ready to go. So, you know, UL, tab. Oh, why isn't it? Sometimes it's not catching. No big deal, though. Uh, really nice. So those are like the tab trigger type things that come with minimal CSS. Uh, and it's just as easy to install as that. There's probably more to it, but I just, that's how I use it oftentimes is stuff like that. Like DL tab, you know, DD tab or DT. And DT gives you a DD too. It's that smart. Really nice touches. Okay. So I'm sure some of you are like, yeah, but Chris, have you heard of this Zen coding thing? Yes, I have. It's pretty cool. So if you Google Zen coding, let's Google it. Zen coding. Uh, it's hosted on Google code and it's like got this example. So you can type these like fancy long strings of stuff here and it like expands into this big awesomeness. We'll cover using that, but this is where you get it. And this is where the documentation is. Again, just download the bundle, put it in the right place and then tell it to reload bundles and you'll get Zen coding. So uh, you can see the options for it down here. Very little um, actual commands that it does. It's all about this ability to expand uh, these things. So let's grab their example. We'll just copy and paste it and put it in here. Boom. Then you hit Command E. We'll expand this thing. Boom. So let's dissect that. Div. It's almost like a jQuery selector or something, but it actually expands into code. Div with an ID of page. And within that, which is this arrow kind of deal, like a closing HTML tag, div with a class of logo, also a UL with an ID of navigation. Within that, list items, I want five of them. And within those, I want anchor tags. So if you grab this thing, hit it, that, it's the div with an ID of page. It's just like I described right here. Pretty neat, huh? So that's just, I could say, list item, I want a, I want a definition list and within that I want a definition title um, times five or whatever expand and I will get this yay so unordered list with a with a ID of main navigation within that list items and I want it to have a class name of menu item and then a number times eight and within that, I want an anchor tab, 
uh, an anchor link with a title. Boom. So that, that dollar sign turned into numbers. I told her I wanted a title, so it put titles in there, and I wanted eight of them, and it made eight of them. So pretty darn cool. So it just takes a lot of the time out of this stuff. We could look at the documentation. I think we kind of covered a lot of the, the cool things that Zen coding can do, but it's all about like writing a quick little statement like that and having it expand. So, I mean, you can combine these things too. I can go, you know, I need a UL and I'm like, oh yeah, I just, but I just, you know, I just need like five list items or whatever. Like I, I use the tab trigger from, from minimal design and Zen coding all at once there. So it really speeds thing along. Um, uh, minimal design also has CSS bundles. So maybe we should check that out, or maybe we should keep it short. I don't know. The idea is the same. So uh, it's dependent on the, the, the document being CSS. So And then there's, like, background tab, and it, like, has all these options for, oh, I want an RGB, and it'll hook you up there. Um, so page wrap. Color tab. Uh, hex. You know, it just helps you be quicker if you can get this stuff down. Uh, and, and remember that if it's less, a lot of people, I, I, this was me. I'm like trying to do it. I'm like, I got it installed. Why isn't it working? Uh, 5E. Go. Oh, that actually worked for some reason. It must be. Uh, a lot of times it's dependent on what language you have selected for it to work. Like if I do the LI tab in here, it's not going to work. I'm like, what's wrong? It's because I'm not on HTML. If I was on HTML it would work properly you know there you go so there's some text mate tips there um, a few other random ones I wanted to cover you can like select big blocks of code um, like you know like you know this whole area I don't I don't need any of this right now and just hit command uh, slash you know like d down there by the period and it'll just comment it out it'll like insert comment tags around the whole thing it's pretty smart about language so if this was PHP code it would know it's in PHP land it's going to use PHP commenting for it or JavaScript or whatever languages and even if you're like editing an HT access file the comments start with like octothorpes you know the little number sign um, and it will it will properly put those in because that's the st style of commenting in that weird language. So, and this is simple stuff. You know, you like hardcore coders probably know so much more than I do about this stuff, about the wrapping and stuff. Let's say, let's try and open that thing again, the, the header thing. There's like this, okay, um, the head section. I don't need to see that. So you can just like close it. That's that wrapping stuff. This is what people want so bad in Coda. And they're like, yeah, we'll do it like in a year. I don't know. People love their their wrapping or their uh, being able to fold code. I guess that's what it's called. You can like click these things and like collapse these areas uh, if you're sick of looking at it. I think that's actually really nice. I use it. You know, I'm writing like a JavaScript plugin and there's just or a jQuery plugin. There's lots of like mini functions and stuff. I'm like, I, I know I don't need to see that anymore. It's kind of done. I need to know that it's there, but I don't need to see the 12 lines of code for the simple thing that it does. Just fold it. And it's not up in your face, and you're just doing it. Um, I know a lot of people are really into the to the to the find kind of stuff that it can do. Um, I know, God, I have a friend who's like, you know, I was I was talking to Doug Niner, and he's like, uh, we're we're gonna have a race about CSS. You know, I like to write CSS in that that single line kind of format a lot of times. So I'll write like page wrap, and then you know, color black. And, you know, text transform, uppercase. I'll put it all on the same line over and over. So it becomes this, like, big block of CSS. And I just, for some reason, that's just how I like it, you know. Um, and, and I'll, you know, to the, like the traditional style of CSS that you see um, a lot of times is, you know, is, is more like that. And like the challenge was like you can write it like this because TextMate is so good at finding things for you that uh, it doesn't matter you know like scannability doesn't matter you just like ooh super find you know I, I don't even you know I guess I guess you would just go page wrap but I think there's like some super skilled fast way to do it that I don't even know about uh, a lot of times I'll open a, like a big old project um, that's that's kind of a cool thing like. 
you have this whole project open here and there's lots of different files or whatever, you can go command T to find in projects. So if you have this huge project and you're like trying to find the example.js file, you can just start typing a few characters and you'll find the thing you're looking for. If you're working on a huge project, that's super duper useful. Uh, but you can also find like literally find in project like you're like, oh, where was that function or whatever? And it will find all instances of that word in the entire project. And it can be just enormous projects and that can be tremendously useful. Like, you know, you're trying to find a little word or some little bug or something and you're like, I, I can't even think of where that would be in this project. You can find in project and it will, you know, search the entire project for that word. You get it. Way to dwell on such an obvious concept, Chris. Oh, TextMate tips, commenting we covered. Pretty, pretty cool. TextMate is pretty great. I'm sure you guys have 100 tips that I've never heard about that will blow my mind, so please share them. But for now, it's all I got.